G'day there. In this video I thought we'd do something a little bit different and I just wanted to start a series of uh, tours of some of the bulletin boards that you might want to connect to that are actually running Mystic as the software. So you can get a feel for kind of how those systems are set up and what different people are doing with their Mystic system. So I'm going to be using a client called Netrunner which you can download from the Mystic BBS website and this is a really cool client that allows you to tell net into bulletin boards. It's uh, written by the same author as Mystic BBS and produces some brilliant ANSI graphics on screen. So keep an eye out for that. It's free and you can download it from mysticbbs.com. In no particular order I'm going to take you to a system called Mystic Dreams today. So let's connect in and this is using a slightly earlier version of Mystic by the looks of it, version 1.11 and I'm a member of this and I actually just logged in before I started recording this video so I could reacquaint myself with the board because it's been a little while since I've been here. Hopefully that's the correct password, it is. So you can see as we log in we've got a whole bunch of uh, previous callers to the system from New Zealand, from uh, around the world, particularly in the States. Uh, we've got some one-liners, so this is a chance for people to post a message that others can see as they log in. I'm going to write something like, I think I found my keys under the seat. <laughs> Just because I can. No more messages to scribble on the wall. Apparently it is currently 12.59 a.m. in the morning on the 4th of June and it's showing my IP address and the fact that the SISOB is not in. No new users have signed up to this bulletin board today and there's a whole bunch of new files that have arrived on the system. I don't think I've got any mail waiting and here's the main menu which has been customized and configured. Again this is a Mystic system and in this case the system operator has just chosen to present things this way. So if I go into the message menu I get a nice looking uh, layout like this. Um, let's go area change. Oh, it looks like this one's connected to FSXNet, which I happen to know already. And if I wanted to, I can read messages, look for new messages. There's a whole lot of them in here. Conversations are underway. All sorts of people are talking about all sorts of stuff. So there's some good things going on there. If I press escape, I'll get out of that. Maybe I'll quit back to the main menu and go into the file menu. Do I want to have a look at uh, all messages, all, sorry, all new files? Quick scan, nothing new there. Into the main files menu. Looks like I'm in a renegade bulletin board area, so if I list files, I can see I've got a number of files here that I could download if I wanted to, to do, to do with renegade BBS. That was a system I used back in the 1990s, but it hasn't had a lot of development work done to it in recent years, which is why Mystic is my flavour of choice. And if I wanted to, I could tag some of those, press the space bar to tag that one, I think. Yes, I've tagged several there, you can see a tick. Press escape. If I want to download those, I can. Do I want to download those files? Yes, I'll use Z modem and I won't disconnect after I've downloaded. Here we go, it's busy downloading the files for me. This is a really nice Telnet client and I think I tagged three files, didn't I? So I'll just wait for those to pull down and we're done. At this point I think I'm going to leave so I'll say goodbye and it's hung up and disconnected. So there you go, that was just one of many different systems that we'll be reviewing on this channel. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for another bulletin board which I will uh, provide the address for this system in the description of the link. Bye for now.